When Stephanie Hopper was diagnosed with a deadly brain tumor at age 20, doctors didn't know if she'd live to finish college. But incredibly, more than six years later, she's in remission. God didn't raise me up to be 20 years old and put me through everything that I've been through in my life to just kill me off with cancer. Stephanie was the first patient to undergo a cutting edge brain cancer treatment at Duke University, where doctors injected a form of the polio virus directly into her tumor. This is not the ordinary polio virus. It's designed to target and kill tumor cells without patients contracting polio. At the same time, it stimulates the immune system to destroy stray cancer cells. Today, promising early results reveal 21% of the 61 patients in the study were still alive three years after treatment, compared to just 4% of those who underwent standard therapies. This is virtually unheard of uh, with the treatments for recurrent glioblastoma, especially to have these very long-term survivals. The next step, a bigger study with more patients, but it's given Stephanie the chance to pursue her dream of becoming a nurse and marry her college sweetheart. I believe that I will someday be able to have children and tell them my story and be able to share my story with absolutely everybody. John, this is the kind of story that gets people to sit up and pay attention. What is the potential this treatment could be effective in treating other forms of cancer? I'm certainly hoping it's big potential. In just a few weeks, Duke University is starting clinical trials to see if this treatment works with breast cancer and melanoma. Researchers think there's a lot of solid tumors this treatment might work for as well. But, of course, a lot of research still needs to be done. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.